Hello, Facebook Live. Hello, Facebook. And Instagram Live. And Instagram. <laughs> we have cameras everywhere right now. Yes, it's like um, a studio <laughs> up in here. <laughs> thank you for joining us. We're just going to give people a second to join, but thank you for all that are joining us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm Camille Hicks with C. Hicks Agency. I am Nisha Blair <laughs> with Organizing Lifestyles. Yes, and today we are bringing you Spring Cleaning Live. So a lot of people get started on the spring cleaning around this time. And actually today in Houston is actually a really beautiful spring-like day. Um, just this weekend, it was like cold and windy. But today actually feels like spring. So it actually yeah. puts me in the mood for a little spring cleaning. <laughs> So what we're going to talk to you today is about how to not only just spring clean your house, we all know, you know, do your floors and get all the crevices and the dust and everything that you don't get throughout the rest of the year. But what about your important documents and organizing all of those, those um, papers, pieces of paper and mail and everything that you have sitting around and um, how it relates to your insurance as well. So I'm going to give you some tips on how organizing your space can help with your insurance policy, your coverage, and your claim, if you ever have to file one. And then Nitra is going to give us some tips about organizing all this paperwork and um, things that we need to get in order in our personal life at home and in your office. <laughs> and in the office, yes. We're going to get so, all organized. Because typically, if it's unorganized at home, it's unorganized at the office. <laughs> about first is really what documents, because today we're going to really focus on the paper and the documents and all the, the stuff that you have just laying around that needs to be filed. So some of the things that you need to really be looking into for your insurance is your auto policy. I know you have an auto ID, an insurance ID card, but do you know what coverages you have? So it's important to find that paperwork or, um, or make sure it's in the, in your app or, um, that you have access to it. That's, that's something you're going to hear me say a lot is, Make sure you know where the stuff is and that you have access to it. So some things we're going to be talking about is um, your auto insurance. You need to be looking for those documents. Your home insurance, very important. And you don't have to own, and home, own a home to make sure that you know what's covered. That, that could be your apartment. That could be a condo. It's whatever, wherever you live and where your stuff is, um, is what you need to make sure you, you know what coverage you have. And if you don't have coverage, you need to get covered. Um, that includes flood insurance. Um, earthquake insurance, depending on where you live. Um, thankfully, we don't have earthquakes here. Thank you. Thank Floods you. and earthquakes, there'll be a whole lot. <laughs> but um, I do insure the state of California, and I know I have clients there that have earthquakes. So you need to make sure you have your earthquake policy readily available as well. Your life insurance. And then people tend to forget about like their disability insurance. Right, yes. Um, so you need to know if you even have disability insurance. And if so, where is um did you see Donnie? Hey, Hi Donnie. Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> um know where your policy is and what you have. So disability health insurance, any long-term care, just really any coverage that you have. So I also don't want you to forget about your financial documents, um, your budget, your investments, your savings accounts, your retirement. Um, those are all documents that you need to make sure are organized as well. Um, and then something that I'll jump into a little bit later is a safety plan and also home inventory. These are things that you need to be doing during your spring training. And if you already have those in place, this is the now a, a really good time to review um, those, all those items as well as your safety plan and your home inventory, meaning know what's in your house. Okay. Yeah. So what do we need to look for? Um, I know I have papers everywhere. Have you seen my office? I, I just got a little. <laughs> this is my home office. Glimpse of it back there. <laughs> but <laughs> I think one of the most important things when it comes to filing systems and making sure you have your important documents and having them organized is that you know let's start with where people go wrong first. Okay. okay. So first thing is in majority of the homes and all the homes I've been in, there's one person that does the filing, and they are usually the only person that knows where everything is. <laughs> So that's probably not a good filing system right? <laughs> because other people need to be able to find the documents as well, whether it's your husband, whether you're single and, you know, if an emergency happens, you need to send your mama to your house to get some. That's other so people important. need, you need an easy 
filing system so that other people know how to use the filing system. Another thing is people try to overcomplicate filing systems. <laughs> so they put colors in there. Everybody in the house got a different color folder. It's either in alphabetical order, but then it's an emergency order. It's from all the model orders. purple. You see, <laughs> see. They are. They are all purple. purple. That's good because it's consistent. So it's all purple. So that's okay. fine. So those are just a few of the things like where some people try to make filing systems too complicated. So keeping the filing system very simple and then ensuring that other people understand and know how to use the filing system is extremely important uh, when it comes to having organized files. So I'll draw a few examples okay. <laughs> um, of you know, how to file correctly, in my opinion. And I use this with all of my clients. You can call and ask them, although you don't know who they are, but that's okay. Some <laughs> of you do because you're on. Um, but um, it's a very simplistic filing system. So what I do is I teach, and I have actually tried a number of filing systems on the market, and this is one of the best filing systems, which I actually purchased, purchased from another organizer um, called Filing Bliss. So, um, so how this system works is it reads from left to right, because most people read from left to right, right? So you have your categories, your main categories. So here we have insurance, and then you have your subcategories in the middle, and then you have your little smaller categories underneath with like little small folders. So I always see, uh, say you, you can use the folders that are, you know, all the way, the long tab folders are all right sided tab folders. So they do sell them where you can buy all one right side or all left side, depending on what makes you happy. So can everybody see this? No, hold on. Um, yeah. So Facebook can see it and some people on Instagram can probably see it. Okay. So let me pull a few out. So and then we can go. So that. Nature, that might make it easy. Like I'm a big fan of the cloud system, and I, but I do like I have a mm -hmm. lot of actual papers. Mm -hmm. So do you suggest having them in both places, or if I put them in the cloud, are they like? I suggest still, having them in both uh, places. Some people prefer electronic. Um, so if you're going to do electronic, then definitely you know clouds, um, uh, Dropbox, things like that are okay. really good systems for online, you know, electronic type filing systems. And then of course you still have a lot of people who like paper. So yeah. for those who like paper, this is what I suggest for you. Um, so you'll see here, insurance is my main category. And then my subcategory is medical. And so I have them up a little bit. So oh, this one. All right. So then you have your medical insurance. And then I'll just pull that up just a little bit. And then you'll have your auto insurance. And then under auto in the folders consist of the type of car. So this is one for the Camry. And then this is one for the Tahoe. So that's kind of how you create your folders to make it a lot easier. So um, this is something that I've been using for years now, even when I was single, um, because if I was out of town, I needed somebody to know where my stuff was. Yeah. So I could easily call and say, hey, I need you to go to Vital Records and get a copy of my um, passport or something. So then they would just go to the Vital Records. See that? See that? See that? Vital Records? <laughs> Yeah, you know, and then they can just pull the passport out. So it makes it really simple and easy for even yeah. children to follow. One of my clients love this because she can send her 12 year old son in the room and say, hey, I need you to go get your report card or your medical records. And then they will go under health care and then pull out their insurance under their folder for their name. Like it's just that That's simple. Easy. So it makes yeah. it easy. I was just going to say that, I, you know, um, you you bring up a good point. Like <laughs> we have a lot of cameras going here, so trying to make sure everybody can see it. But um, you bring up a good point, especially in the insurance um, world, is like somebody else should be able to easily find your documents. This is very important, um, and that's why I'm a fan of the cloud system too, because that way somebody can access your documents from somewhere else. But having this system and making it organized is a, is a good way for people to be able to um, find your documents. Mm -hmm. And you just never know when something's going to happen and you're going to need somebody to access um, your, your coverage, um, your health information, mm -hmm. any of the vital um, records or documents that you have. Right. And you can either keep legal documents in here, like your wills. Um, courthouse, um, and she actually makes these tabs for this filing system. So when you get it, the tabs are already pre-made. Oh, so really? you're actually um, just putting them in order based on which tab you actually need for your household. So um, that's the good thing about the filing bliss system, which is why I love it. <laughs> hey, Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all who are joining us right now. Um, if you're just jumping onto the, the video, we are um, talking about spring cleaning and not just your floors and the dust. 
we're trying to get your um, personal life in order and and your uh, business life if you have a business through making sure you organize your documents. All right. So another thing I like to suggest to clients for those who like to keep the paper is that you have an emergency kind of filing system. So usually in my regular file cabinet, I have copies of all my important documents. So I have a copy of all social security cards, birth certificates, passports, IDs, everything is just copies. And all my originals are kept in something like this. So it's just an expandable folder. And the reason I suggest people have these is they'll say, in case of an emergency, and you know, we've had a few hurricanes here in Houston, yeah. um, some fires in California, yeah. and somebody may come knock on your door and say, you need to leave like right now. Where I, this stays underneath my bed and all I have to do is grab it and go. So if it's a fire, I can grab it and go. Mm -hmm. And this has the actual physical document. So it has the actual social security card, the actual birth certificates. So it has all the real documents in it okay. um, that I may need. Um, copies of insurance, which are really insurance documents are really um, a lot of those electronic yeah, nowadays with most of the company. So mm -hmm. most people don't even need to keep the insurance documents in a file system but if you are that type of person it's totally okay mm -hmm. and i would just suggest you have not only a physical filing system for everything but just an emergency with just the most important documents and take those away um a lot of clients like to say well i have a um, a fire safe and a waterproof safe and that's mm -hmm. all nice and dandy but a good example is just in the hurricane you had to leave your home and yeah. some of you all weren't able to go back home for weeks so in those type of situations, their fireproof safe, their waterproof safe is how's it helping you? Because you can't get any of the documents because yeah. they're all in there and you had to leave in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Where if you had to leave in a hurry, you could have just grabbed this and wherever you are, mm -hmm. hotel room or not, cousin's house. Yeah. Or and I, I, tell, you get your I tell some of my clients to like take this and put it in. You can put it into a, a fireproof waterproof. Or exactly. Mm -hmm. Be able to, but this needs to be able to be go. in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you need to be able to take this out and go. Been waterproof, you need yes. to be able to take it with you too. And, go. Um, and also with the insurance documents, you're right. A lot of it's online and it's it's digital. Mm -hmm. But I do highly suggest putting it all in one place. Yes. So like a I use you mentioned Dropbox. Yeah. I use Dropbox as well. Um, Evernote as well as some other apps I'm going to share with you. But um, you really need to have it all in one place so that you can find that information and other people can find it as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a printout because right. everything's so digital, but having a, um, a, a folder or one place that you right. can find all that information so that you're not searching. Right. Yeah. Trying or to trying to call your though. insurance agent. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm always like, I always want to help, but sometimes I'm just not in the position or it might be 12, one, two in the morning. And if you have those documents on a Dropbox and you can pull it up on your phone, then you already have everything you need versus trying to get in touch with, you know, right. your agent or somebody to be able to help you. This is true. And now insurance, you can file claims from your phone. Yes. Well, I love That's that. Well. I love yes. that. I have every insurance company I've had. I actually keep the apps yes. on my phone and my, you know, I didn't have to keep the, you know, the, what do you call it? The, the ID, ID card. card. Yeah. Because yeah. the ID card is in the app. So. Yes. How cool is that? And then I had an accident once and I was able to just take pictures on the scene yes. and the app walked me through everything I needed on the scene. So it wasn't a situation where, you know, somebody left and I was like, crap, I didn't get that yeah. because the app told me they exactly really what easy. to do. So they make it really easy yeah. um, depending on what insurance company you do have. That's true. Um, so I wanted mm -hmm. to talk a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Thanks for those of you who are joining us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I wanted to go into a little bit about the importance of being organized with your documents and how it relates to your insurance policy. Because a lot of times you do not realize how much not knowing what you have and not being organized can actually affect your insurance policy, your coverage, as well as a claim in the event that something were to happen. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but to read your comments. So we'll, we'll probably be going back in addressing your, your comments and liking them. So, but please, um, make comments as well as ask questions and we will be sure to go back and uh, respond to them so with the documents once you've organized it you also want to be able to go through your home and know what you have like a lot of times especially right now it's tax season people yes. get you know the refund check you might go out and buy a new 
TV, you might get some new artwork, or mm -hmm. you know, I see a lot of you out there getting married. You might get a, have a new ring that's at home <laughs> that needs to be added to your insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to make sure that you update your assets that you get when you uh, when you're getting something that that you. I'll put it this way: if you're going to be upset if it was lost or gone tomorrow, you need to make sure it's covered. Right. If you're going to be hurt or upset about it, then it needs to be covered. So um, for a lot of people, that would be jewelry. Uh, I have clients who call about fur coats and mm -hmm. there's just expensive items that you want to make sure it's covered. Mm -hmm. So when you go out and you're buying new things, don't forget to look at how much coverage you have on your insurance policy. And when you're organizing, you know where your documents are, right. you can see how much is covered as well as who to contact. You can see your agent's information and everything to be able to easily call and update the, those items. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm doing a video on Thursday with a gemologist who's going to talk about how to go about appraising your expensive oh, nice. jewelry oh, nice. to make sure that it's covered on your policy because sometimes things have to be actually what we call scheduled onto your policy. You okay. have to actually add the price of the jewelry onto the policy for it to be covered totally. Okay. Okay. So, um, no. <laughs> My husband is dancing. <laughs> Hi to those of you, who, you who are joining us right now. So I just want to stress for those of you that are just um, joining us. So we're talking about home inventory and knowing what you have in your home. And, mm -hmm. I, and, ever, and whenever I'm talking about home inventory, just keep in mind that if you have a business, the same thing is going to go for your business. So if you have an office with um, Apple computers in it, you want to make sure that's covered on your insurance. Or if you go out and buy something new, a nice printer, these printers are expensive. Um, you get one of the big the big office printers. You want to make sure that all the items that you have are included on your insurance as well. So let's talk about home inventory a little okay. bit. So when you're organizing, you're getting your documents together. What I suggest from an insurance standpoint is um, one, organizing the documents, but then taking pictures of what you have in your home. And you can actually, there's, I would not print out all the pictures because it's pointless. I, I'm more digital, but I understand if, you need to print some things out. The most important thing is to have um, an, a list and items that you have in your home, mm -hmm. as well as some pictures to support those items. So if you were to have a claim and you lost your TV, um, I'm looking back at the TVs right there. For you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see the TV, but if you lost your TV, um, the insurance company might not know if it's from 1983 or it's from 2003. So, well, hopefully, let's let's hopefully hopefully we've updated. Our TV well, we've updated. So, 2016 versus like 2000. That's going to make a difference in price. So they're just going to have to go off of what you tell them. But if you have a picture, they are actually able to give you a replacement cost value most of the time for what that TV is worth when you lost it. So if you don't know what you have and you didn't take a picture, they're going to have to probably give you the least expensive amount of coverage for that TV. Because they don't have any any way to um, evaluate it or or uh, see how much it costs. So um, I think I can answer Jane's question. Uh, Jane's question. Yeah. What's Jane's question? Jane, right here. Oh, okay. Pictures in your insurance. Okay, yeah. So definitely take pictures, and um, if, even if you don't have a picture of everything, it's important to know, especially large items that you have in your home, to go through and make a list. And I would do it by. I always suggest do it by room. Yes. So go through your kitchen and say, these, these are the biggest items in my kitchen and put the value, the year, make, model, whatever in, information you can provide. I would put that down on a sheet and then scan it or put it into um, a cloud system. Yes. That's the manual way to do it. It's a manual way. So if you're high tech <laughs> and you're like us and we like, you know, uh, to use apps, I highly suggest there's several apps out there that you can use to take home inventory. So one of the apps that I really like is called Knowing Your Stuff. You need to know your stuff, know what you have in your home um, or your apartment or wherever you live. And you can actually download the app and know your stuff. I think, I want to say it's either free or it's $2.99, but it's not very expensive. Mm -hmm. So you can download Know Your Stuff and it actually has a full checklist by room that kind of walks you through each room, mm -hmm. TV, beds, dressers, computers clothes, all the items that we don't think about, you can add those in and you can take a picture of them and have a list. And there's also 
I'm a big fan of Dropbox. So even yes, if you have to just is take pictures and put them in Dropbox, living room, here are the items, um, bathroom, bedroom, office, mm -hmm. et cetera. There's also Evernote, yeah, which Evernote is a way to file and do kind of more of a mandatory inventory. Um, there's Google Cloud. So within the Google Cloud, you can use Drive and Keep. I, I have I use Drive and never use Keep, but I've heard good things about it. Uh, Microsoft OneNote, and then some apps that you can use on your phone would be Stuffinizer. It's two ninety nine, and it's on both Android and iPhone. There's My Stuff, which is it's either from four ninety nine to eight ninety nine, depending on how um, fancy you want to get. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an app as well. And then there's something called My Stuff Lite. Which is free, but it's a it's um, not as a, it's not as detailed as my stuff, uh, but it's free on um, Apple, guys. Sorry, Android users. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's on, I don't think it's on Android, <laughs> but my stuff light. So again, that's Dropbox, Evernote, Google, Microsoft mm -hmm. One, Stuffinizer, and then my stuff. Mm -hmm. So those are all apps and programs that will assist you in taking home inventory. Yeah. But it's okay if you don't like apps, you can manually do this. Just create a list and take pictures and make sure you know your stuff. So, and also a few more good apps for inventory is Allstate has an app called uh, Digital Locker um, that takes you through each space. You don't have to be an Allstate customer either to use the app and that app is free. Um, so you can download that. It takes you room by room. It asks you for the name of the item. And you can actually take pictures of the rooms, um, of the space and of the items that you want to put in the app for insurance purposes. And it keeps the inventory for you. And then also HomeZada, which is another free app, um, you can also use as well for inventory. Um, and it's really good. Same thing. You put the number of rooms in your home, put your address in there, and then you can go in and also um, take pictures of each of those items in the spaces. Um, it has personal items as well as it allows you to put the big appliances and things of that nature in there as well. Um, and you can also do a video, right? Yeah. You can do yeah, a video yeah. of your home. So mm -hmm. even if you don't want to do pictures, um, I would suggest to my clients, you know, go do your little video and just kind of go around your house and kind of see everything because sometimes there's things you may catch in the video That's that true. you forgot about when you took a picture. So. Um, definitely, you know, take a video. You can open up the drawers and just take a video of the stuff in there. Um, and then kind of go around your house with that as well. So don't think you just have to be consumed to pictures. But yeah. of course, she's the insurance <laughs> expert. I'm the organizer. I think, expert. yes. <laughs> and that's why we're here together. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, do whatever works for you, whatever's easiest for you. The most important thing is that you know your stuff, know what you have, know, um, know what, what's covered. Mm -hmm. And keep reviewing and updating your coverage. That's why I'm doing the spring cleaning series because now is a great time to review, to get organized um, so that um, next year you're just reviewing. You're not having to go through everything. But sometimes people like me, I have papers. I'm an insurance, I, we're full of paperwork. They send paperwork regardless if you say you want electronic um, documents or not. So for me, I'm having to almost do a, a spring cleaning overhaul like every month right. on documents. but um, hopefully some of you are not like drowning in paperwork like I am, but just the most important thing is whatever works for you, but just to know what you have. And, um, you know, something were to happen, I want to bring this up because this is a real life thing that's that happened here in Houston. But during Harvey, I was receiving a lot of phone calls about like the water is coming to the door. What do I, what do I take with me? What do I need? Like, mm. So... <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell you now is, yes. So we've answered one of them with that. The other thing is, let's not wait until something happens to figure out what coverage you have. Um, right now is a great time to go ahead and look at your coverage, know what you have. I want to remind everybody that hurricane season starts in June. Yes, it does. And um, FEMA has a 30-day wait period on flood insurance. So right about now is a good time to get flood insurance as well. So these are things you want, and we don't like to think about them, but these are things you need to think about mm -hmm. ahead of time. before it happens. And it's good to take an inventory as well of mm -hmm. what you have. So if you go through your house now and say, oh, I need batteries, I need flashlights, yes. um, I need things of that nature, then this is the perfect time to start doing that. I know specifically during Harvey, you know, most of us didn't expect to be in our homes mm -hmm. for a whole week, 
But, you know, I always, before hurricane season, kind of prepare things. Um, we had family that came and stayed with us. We had more than enough food. I didn't have to run to the store and stand in long lines. And they didn't have any bread on the shelves, any water. water. So don't try to wait to the last minute to do things. When you do things ahead of time, um, it makes it a lot easier on you. Um, another thing that I noticed on a lot of the videos during Harvey was when people were moving their stuff upstairs because the water was coming in and they were picking up books and pick, but had they done a video or inventory, you know, I always say, grab your most important things, yeah. grab the things that you really need the most. And this is a perfect time for you to go through your home and actually say, you know what? This is what's important to me. So if yeah. an emergency happens, grab this is the things I'm grabbing and I'm taking. And then let the rest go. It's just stuff at the end of the day. Yeah. And it's all replaceable. I mean, some of the stuff I saw people moving around in their house, I was just sitting at home like, oh my gosh, did, did you yeah. need that? But you know what? <laughs> no. And then and but when you get when you're nervous and you just and you haven't planned and something's happening, you start thinking, I did it myself. And mm -hmm. I I was I was prepared. Okay. I had everything except for the boat. And I planned to get a boat <laughs> and I didn't have time. I ran out of time. Mm -hmm. But um I was prepared, but you know, when you start thinking about for real, like the water is coming, mm -hmm. then you start thinking, well, oh my gosh, I need this. I need this. I want this. Right. Oh, right. You know, it's, um, it's the panic mode type of thing. It so. is panic mode. So, so if you, if you think about it a little bit beforehand and take some of the tips that we're giving you, um, I know that you will definitely be more prepared in the event something were to happen mm -hmm. and, it's not really, you know, if something happens, it's like when something happens, right. whether it be minor or major. Right. So, and then one other thing, I mean, I could go on and on to give you tips, oh, Yes. but I have to do a whole other video for this, but I just want to just touch on it is that now while you're organizing, it's a good time to create a safety plan for your family or even for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so meaning how, what are we going to do if something happens? If a fire breaks out, how are we getting out? Mm -hmm. um, if a flood comes, what are we going to do? Where do we need to meet? Who we're going to grab? Like, what What are you going to do when something happens? Well, not who you're going to grab, because hopefully you got everybody. Right. <laughs> hopefully you don't pick the best child and leave the other. But yes, take everyone. And then if you have pets, you know, I, I know somebody who had a situation where the water has was already at their apartment on the second floor. The boat was coming, and they wouldn't get on the boat because they're trying to figure out what to do with the dog. And they said the dog can't come. The <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the dog can come, but they didn't have all the stuff for the, the dog. dog. Let me say that. They didn't have the stuff. So you want to think about how you're going to exit your, your place in the event that something were to happen and how you're going to do it and what all do you need. You right. know, do you right. have pets, kids, um, just all the items that are important. Yeah. And so if you don't think about it ahead of time, it does put you in panic. Mode. Yeah. And definitely think about that. Like I know with a lot of my clients who struggle with letting go of things, you know, one of the scenarios I take them through is, OK, there's a, you know, a storm coming and the police come knock on your door and say, you need to pack up and leave in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. What are you going to take? Because that was a reality that happened. Exactly. That's a reality, that exactly. yeah. that's a reality that happened for a lot of people. And, you know, I had one client one time that said, that's just not realistic, Nitra. <laughs> but <laughs> it's real. But, but it is real. It is realistic and it mm -hmm. can happen. You know, even during um, I think it was Ivy. What was mm -hmm. it? Storm, like everybody was stuck on the freeway. Oh, yeah. And I remember seeing somebody with a refrigerator, like a full size kitchen refrigerator <laughs> on the back of their pickup truck. And I was like, <laughs> they know it's unplugged, right? So the food isn't going to last. Like, so, you know, so, I'm not even trying to laugh, but you know, <laughs> but they were probably really things. nervous. They were real nervous. They took the whole refrigerator, just like we're going to have food on the road and hope it don't spoil in the hot sun on the way. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know. But so, you definitely want to prepare before yeah. you wait until something actually happens yeah and you know i know even like growing up it was um my mom used to always you know she would always say you know if something happens to me mm -hmm. go to the briefcase in the closet that's where my stuff is so we always knew that you know even growing up as little kids so don't think you know you want to wait till your kids get a certain age you want to wait till this i remember at a very i remember mama had a cold one time she was like you know what the stuff is right right yeah it's in the briefcase you, never know like, you just happen. got a cough calm down i know where it is you know so making sure that your family knows where important documents yeah. are and papers is very important as well yes um and then um on top of that just to keep everything updated i don't want to forget to add that um so like if you have life insurance and you have beneficiaries um, and the beneficiaries move or you move, make sure you're updating these things. Um, you, you want 
you want to be able, you want the insurance company to be able to um, have the beneficiaries correct information mm -hmm. on your policy. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, really just take this time during April to really spring clean, not just your home, right. um, but your, your, uh, I call it your financial life because for yeah. me, at the end of the day, this all comes back to making sure you and your family are okay. Yeah. And yeah. you can save yourself a lot of, um, uh, I would say pain and money. <laughs> yes, indeed. And um, if you just prepare a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and just to add to mm -hmm. Camille, um, not only um, knowing where your documents are and having those in order, but making sure that someone else knows where to find it that in is, case of an emergency. That's super important. It's really important. important. Like for my mom, like growing up, like we all knew where to go get the stuff. Um, for me, when I was single, I had a cousin who knew where to go to get my stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, knowing what attorney to call for a will is very important. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to know who to call. So nobody wants to spend time going through a bunch of papers when they're not even sure what they're looking for. So just make sure that at least you have everything put together and that at least somebody knows who to call or where to go look for those particular documents as well. Yeah. And if you choose to take, take the um, digital route and save mm -hmm. everything online or in a cloud system, make sure, please make sure that you share those documents because it doesn't help if you have them and no one can access them. So it's really important. So like, for instance, my family, we have a Dropbox folder and that one folder is shared with the family so that mm -hmm. if something happened um, to me, they can access it. But also if something happens where I can't access the documents from my mm -hmm. computer, I can access it from anywhere. Right, right. I can be anywhere and access it. So, so that is really important. For yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. yes. So we hope that you can take advantage of the tips that we've shared as well as you know, if you don't have these items in place, I know it's a lot of information and a lot that we just shared, you know, just start somewhere. And I, I would start by organizing your documents and then by taking um, inventory of your home during this month of April um, to make sure that your yourself and your family and everybody that you love is prepared. Mm -hmm. And then tell a friend and tell your mom and your cousin and your grandma mm -hmm. and help because just have a whole family meeting. Just invite everybody over for a you know, family meeting. meetings. I'm all about family <laughs> meetings. <laughs> Because if luck, your mom is and not, get it together. If your just mom doesn't have it. her stuff together you need and to something happens, it's going to affect you too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> she might have to live with you. <laughs> <laughs> you or vice versa. So, um, but anyways, I could go on and on because it is, it, because I'm in insurance, I see um, the things that could just be done slightly different to really change the outcome mm -hmm. of a claim or of um, just being able to get out of your home or, or or help your family or protect your family so that's why i keep probably repeating myself <laughs> but um i'm glad that you all joined us today i want to thank nietzsche for being here yeah, yeah yeah she's awesome and she has a lot of great organizing tips and so even if you don't have these things in place please feel free to contact us um and or follow us on social media and you know start making the steps or taking the steps to slowly get, you know, get your stuff organized. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it all at once. Yeah. So um, if you need to get organized, this is the lady to call. And tell us where to find you. So Nitra Rose, uh, Organizing Lifestyles. The phone number is 832-390-0778. You can also go to my website at organizinglifestyles.com or .net. Um, you can reach me by email from the website. You can send me a request to um, get a consultation. Consultations are free and complimentary. Um, and during spring cleaning, you know, we have a lot of different packages for everybody and individuals. Uh, one of our most popular packages is a two-day full clean out of your whole house and garage. That's scary. So if you want to <laughs> see my whole team, I mean, we come in like the army. And we come to your home for two days. We do a full clean out of the entire house and garage we have a truck that hooks up all the trash really and then we have a cleaning service that comes and cleans up after so you get a whole new house in two days you have, do you have gift certificates uh, <laughs> yes i do so we definitely that's one of our most popular packages that a lot of people like whether they're trying to put their house on the market it's really popular for people in those situations but just those who want to get you know a new start they're tired of the clutter um and they want to get organized so definitely reach out to organizing lifestyles um our motto is an organized life is an easier life that's the truth and if you um need some help getting started 
with or even reviewing your insurance policies, feel free to contact me. My website is chicksinsurance.com. Uh, my name is Camille Hicks. For those of you who don't know me, um, <laughs> this is how I act like everybody knows me. No, everybody knows me. No, but chicksinsurance.com. You can email me at Camille at chicksinsurance.com. And I'm on all social media at Camille G. Hicks and C. Hicks Agency. And to talk to me is I don't charge anything either. So we're like, you get knowledge is power, right? You can you can call mm -hmm. yeah. call and get some knowledge and tips for uh nothing. Right. So to just to get started and just to get some information, give us a call. We'd be more than mm -hmm. happy to help you get started. Mm -hmm. So um any questions? Any questions? We can yeah, we can see some, I think I saw some questions throughout the video. Oh, somebody mentioned one drive. That's another good um solution too for um filing systems is one Okay. Drive. Yeah, Microsoft so Microsoft OneDrive, somebody yes. and thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing. Yes. I have not actually used that, but I've heard good things about it. Uh, I see some people also. I want to take a quick second to um, acknowledge some people that I see still joining. Hi, um, Richmond, <laughs> violinist Richmond. Thank you, Nolan, for the love. Yes, and Miss Jane. Oh, and Miss <laughs> Rose. I, you know, I've known Nietzsche before she got married, and so excuse, this is Nietzsche Rose. Okay, I introduced you wrong. Oh, right? you did. You did I say did. Blair I did. I'm still learning and my new name too, so no, I can't fault you. I'm, I'm still learning too. And I and I put that on everything. So yeah. <laughs> Miss Rose, that's okay. Yes, it yes. is Rose. It's new, so it's still new. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still writing Blair, trying to scribble it and write Rose. So it's yes. okay. Thank you, Nola, for joining. And then um, Miss Jackie. And oh, Mr. Oh, that's Mr. Jackie Robinson, I believe. And then Selena, thank you for joining. Um, Shandalyn, Shandalyn, hey Shandalyn, thank okay. you, thank you for the love. Hi, Ian on Instagram. Justin, that's my brother. Yeah, he's everywhere. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, we do, we I don't do even know where to look. If we seem a little scattered, we do have um, several cameras here. Camille has just like the movie studio on here. I don't even know which way to look. This is, I'm feeling like I'm on TV right now. <laughs> so I see some people asking about what the topic was because they're just joining and that's okay. I'm actually going to, for those of you who are just joining, I'm going to repost the recording on YouTube. You can just go to YouTube to see Hicks Agency. But we were talking about spring cleaning and not just your, your floors and your, your uh, cabinets and dust, but also <laughs> Of organizing your important documents and also how it can affect your insurance. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank you all for joining. We're going to go through the comments and if you have questions, please feel free to continue to post the questions because we can still see them after we end this video and we'll go through and answer them. And if you have any questions um, or want to consult with one of us, please feel free to contact us as well. So, all right. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Right. Bye. Bye.